Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Vlogtober. So today is Saturday, October 3rd. My best friend just left. So if you missed my first Vlogtober video, um, my best friend was here because one of our closest friends got married and it was beautiful. I'll insert clips um, in here and photos, but um, we just spent the week um, spending time together, catching up. Um, she moved over a year ago, maybe two years now. Um, so we also just went to some of her favorite places around Austin and it was a really fun week, but I am also very tired. One thing that I tried out while she was here was Trader Joe's. So I stopped by there after I went to Antoinelli's, which is a local cheese shop. It is an Austin small business and I highly recommend going there if you're in the area or if you love charcuterie boards and you're ever in the area because everyone is so knowledgeable, so friendly. Um, they also have events like across the street. They have like their own, um, like event area and I've gone for work. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen it before, but, um, you can get some really good stuff there and they also have wines and like honeys and like local, other local items. Um, and say hi to Mira, but I went there to grab some cheeses and some bread from Easy Tiger, which is a another Austin bakery. And then on my way back, I stopped by Trader Joe's to just grab a few like different items to try out as well as some meat for the cheese board. And then I also stopped by Whole Foods just to get our normal groceries. And so I'm just gonna do a Trader Joe's haul in just a moment. Um, but in this video, we are gonna be doing a fall cheese board. And then I'm also gonna be trying out um, a meal from Trader Joe's. I just don't know what yet. Um, I do need to work on a paper, and so I am going to work on that. Um, I'm going to quickly do the grocery hauls, work on my paper, and then I'll come back and I'll make a fall cheese Okay, board. so for my first Trader Joe's haul, I wanted to try a wide range of items, so I just got a little bit of everything. I also went on a Saturday, so it was crazy busy, um, so I grabbed what I could. So I got the cheese enchiladas. Um, black bean and cheese taquitos, um, butter lettuce for salads. I wanted to really try these sweet plantain chips because I love plantains. And then I got two different types of ravioli. Um, I got these pumpkins for the charcuterie board. So these are only 69 cents each. I got this little package for the charcuterie board as well. And it just has a mixture of meats. I grabbed some fettuccine and then this bolognese sauce and then um, some of the everything but the bagel sesame seasoning blend. I got some pumpkin pie spice. I got some mac and cheese for Sam, some pumpkin dog treats for Mira. We got another type the other day that I'll show y'all. Um, if someone would have told me that wine was $3.50 at Trader Joe's, I would have started shopping there a while ago. Um, I didn't know how cheap their like store brand wines are and we got some when we went the other day and they're good in my opinion. So um, I grabbed two more of the Merlots and that is everything that I got. When we went the other day I picked up these pumpkin maple bacon flavored dog treats. Mira loved these so I figured she would love these as well and what I loved most about everything is I think minus the charcuterie meats i think everything was at least three dollars each if that including the wine so um i didn't know trader joe's was so cheap so if you've been wondering whether or not you should try trader joe's um i'm gonna be trying some of these foods so in the vlogs um i'll share my thoughts on them um we're probably gonna make the bolognese tonight but so far everything that i've had has been really good but yeah, that is everything from Trader Joe's. Also went to Whole Foods. I didn't just need to put that up. I'm not gonna do Whole Foods haul. I feel like I do them like in every single vlog. So y'all know what we get. It's pretty much the same thing each time. I do wanna share everything that we got at Antoinelli's. Um, so all of the cheeses and a really good wine as well. But I'm gonna put all of this stuff up first and then I'll go over all of that 
when we um, start making the charcuterie board. And for the Antoinelli's haul, so I got a mixture of cheeses, primarily sweet cheeses because I prefer the sweet cheeses and so does Sam, um, but also because we still have leftover cheese from the other day and they're more of a like mild cheese. I am not an expert by any means. I am just relaying what I have seen on Instagram, Pinterest, and what I've been told by the professionals at Antoinelli's. Um, I'm going to start with this cheese because I bought an entire pound because it is so good. We got it earlier this week too. It is a chipotle peach cheese and I think it's like with goat's milk. It is delicious and it's like a great spread on a baguette, which is why I bought the baguette. And strawberries and honey, it's just so good. The peaches are from Fredericksburg in Texas and that's one of like they're known for their peaches and their wineries. So um, it is really good. I, I got, there's only like a little bit left. I got most of what's left. Um, I got a Gorgonzola Dulce. So this is like a sweet blue and it's not as strong. I do like blue cheese, but it does have to be sweeter. This one is really good. Um, then there is the Queen of Corona and then this is Euphoria. This one is a milk goat cheese and I believe it's a Gouda. And then this one, I believe, is more of like a cheddar or maybe even a gouda as well. Um, but this one's definitely more mild than this one. This one's like another sweet cheese and these two are recommended. I always go by the recommendations because they know their stuff and they're good. I also picked up these nuts. Um, I had these at our tasting and they're corn kennels. They're a good palate cleanser according to, um, again, the professionals at Antoinelli's. And um, I actually really like them too. I've been snacking on them in between takes. So that is everything I got today. Y'all saw the different meats that we have. When we went earlier this week, we got this caveman. Um, this one is an afterglow. Afterglow, it's a goat's milk, kind of more like a brie. And again, really good. There's also some leftovers um, in the fridge and a container that I'm going to grab as well. It's just a broad variety of cheese, but just in case y'all are into specifics, I want to share that. I don't have specifics on the other ones. Sorry, but this is everything that we are working with. And then I pulled out the fruit. So we have blueberries, um, grapes, and we have three strawberries left. I didn't realize we were running low. I would have grabbed some more, but it's okay. We have a lot to work with. Um, a baguette from Easy Tiger, but any baguette will work. And we grabbed these pumpkins from Trader Joe's, and that's going to be the fall element, um, at least for us. So this is the tray we are using. It is from Target. I'll have it linked below. Um, it's from Project 62. I think they just keep it year round. Um, but this is the one we are using, and we are about to get started. Okay, I don't know the best angle. And I think this is good because it gives like a nice close up. Um, so we're just going to put the camera here and that way y'all can see. So um, I know there's many different ways that you can do charcuterie boards. Again, I'm not an expert. I like to create the boards for fun. Um, but what I'm going to do is start opening things up and then start putting them in and then I'll go over how I set this up. Okay y'all, so here is the board. So I don't go all out. Um, I'm not that elaborate. I like to add decorations to like the pumpkins to make it fall. Or um, I just do something, I don't know, I just make, try to make it a little bit different, but I am more focused on the flavors. And so 
for my cheeses. I'm sure you probably saw me picking up stuff. Um, yes, I'm hungry, but also it's to make sure that like the meats kind of pair with the cheese so that it's easier when you're grabbing something to get something that matches really well and tastes really good together. So I put um, like the strawberries more near like the sweeter blue cheese. And then I believe this is more of like a Gouda. And then I also put, I think the spiciest meat to the right. And that way you kind of get like a balance. Um, this is personally how I like to eat um, charcuterie boards. Um, I know everybody has their own flow. I put more of like the brie style near the like prosciutto style. And then we have some salami with some of the like smellier blue cheese. And then um, this sharp gouda and then some blueberries so you get that like tartness as well. And yeah, I feel like everything kind of just flavors very well and goes pretty good together. I want to get like a little honey dispenser and some like smaller bowls so I can put like the spread style on here. But for the most part, when I create the boards, I just put the harder pieces on and that way it's easier to grab. This blue cheese I'll need a spoon for, but either way, I really like the way that this came out and really excited to eat this in a Right, and so I'm gonna start making the bolognese. So I have some peeled garlic, onion, parmesan, the bolognese sauce from Trader Joe's, the fettuccine, and then some ground beef. And so I'm going to chop up the garlic and onion Simmer that in olive oil, add in the meat, cook that, add the bolognese sauce while making the noodles, and then throw it all together. Okay y'all, so it is a little bit later, so um, I made the board and dinner. Sam got home and then we ate the bolognese and the cheese board, both were amazing. Highly recommend that bolognese sauce. But we just had dinner and talked, but he is about to do his gaming. So for those of you that are new to my channel, um, my fiance actually joined his best friend's Twitch streaming group at the beginning of the year. So he does that every Saturday night and Sunday night. Um, so we just talked and had dinner before he had to go do that. And then I'm actually gonna study. So I'm gonna finish up my paper. Um, I was creating everything that I want to like batch film tomorrow. So my goal is to have content up every day for Vlogtober, that's the point but I'm not gonna do vlogs because honestly my day is so routine and it's so boring. Like I know I'm boring. Um, like I occasionally go to happy hour do something fun, but that's like on occasion. And so um, I want to create like just specific videos of like resetting up my um, planner cart, um, organizing my stickers and just different things like that. I am gonna do a day in the life so that way y'all can see that uh, and that way y'all can see how boring it is. Um, although I feel like I shouldn't save this so you'll actually watch it. Um, but I just, I don't want to show you the same thing every single day. Um, and it'd be repetitive. So I'm just coming up with some more like topic specific videos that I can batch film tomorrow and schedule out. And then I can like alternate those with vlogs. So and that, that is going to be it for this video. If y'all have any questions or have anything that y'all want to see in these videos, 
please feel free to let me know. I'm still growing the list day by day. Other than that, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching.